Yo, what's good everyone? It's Leek. Short video today, I just want to talk about some things that I found interesting when I gathered some info containing the anniversary chapter, some charms that maybe hint to a further license down the line, and also some ring news. Starting off with the anniversary news that, in my theory, might contain Springtrap maybe coming to the game. Now, I don't want to push this like farther, but I think it would be an interesting idea to maybe just put out there. Now, when I was searching on Twitter, I noticed a tweet by DVD Leaks, and they stated that the anniversary event is under development. It will introduce anniversary tome with additional lore to unlock, as well as cosmetic rewards. Tome consists of two levels. Now, maybe this, this is my little idea, right? So let's say if Springtrap does come to the game, this could the tome could be relating to him you know what i'm trying to say like why not have a little tome event thingy where where you see william after going into this the, the suit and then then you just see him die like that'll be like the tome event like that's what it will show in the tome of just springtrap dying now i know this is completely like unreliable as like info but it just is just like my little theory I feel like it would be pretty cool seeing Springtrap come into the game along with that Tome event to show how he became Springtrap for people to actually see it who don't know. Even though it will show it in the lore, but I think that would be pretty cool showing that in the Tome. Like I said before, Springtrap can be likely for this anniversary, but I'm just not too sure because there's other games out there. They might even pick another game license other than FNAF, but it's like we don't even know. I came up with the conclusion that I know Jason is unlikely. Pennywise is kinda unlikely. It, it depends on Stephen King because I don't know how he will want to sort that out. He might not want to give up the rights for Pennywise. But I mean, who knows what like behavior could maybe convince him somehow and like make it make sense to have Pennywise in a game. But I'm just not too sure about Pennywise, like really. I think really Springtrap is really the only like popular, not really the only popular, like he's the one that people mainly want in the game. That could be put in the game right now as in the for this um anniversary i mean i know i know some people wanted Candyman, but then there's like a lot of people don't know who Candyman is and they're just unknown by him so i don't think he will really be that special to have as an anniversary killer so i think fnaf i think springtrap really wins the whole anniversary killer thing he could be the most popular anniversary killer out of the three um for jason pennywise and himself but then to like when you really think about it there's like i said there's other chapters that could overcome him like maybe it could be alien as the um anniversary killer evil within it could be soma it could be amnesia it could be dead space see there's this is so like so many other games that could possibly overcome fnaf the thing is i don't really think popularity could mainly be like a um like an issue most of the time because as long as the game is popular or the movie is is popular then that that will still bring that will still bring enough attention to the game because of the fact that people was like oh wait that character is in the game i want to play this game now because that character is in the game you know what i'm trying to say that's why i'm just like oh like you know like who knows you know what i'm trying to say like what um remember that time when the third the third year anniversary we got ghost Race, then the next chapter we got um stranger, stranger things it's both popular licenses but then it's like at that time i think stranger things was very much more popular than scream at that time but it's like you see how stranger things came after scream instead of it being on the third anniversary it's like things things tend to flip around so we need to type get used to that but i'm not a member like i said i'm going into the anniversary with all expectations i do want it to be fnaf like very much but we just don't know you know what i'm trying to say like it can like it is likely that it is going to be fnaf i hope it is but it's like we, we just never know you know what i'm trying to say like we, we, we need to lower our um expectations because it could be anything for real it could be any type of movie or game license or who knows even the original chapter but i kind of doubt that because of the whole um, money situation like i stated before i said that knowing these devs they want to pick a license chapter because of the fact that that brings in more money and, and more players you know what i'm trying to say so because people will be more familiar with a character that's already created instead of them creating a character of their own and bring it to the game so if it's already a character that that people are already familiar with that will bring more people to the game and also they will want to buy the chapter that will get obviously more buys on the original chapter i mean like i said i think if they wanted to do original chapter for the anniversary it had to be very 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 unique to the point where it gets a lot of people's attention but i think the best move for them is that they'll just go for like this chapter but who knows that tome that anniversary tome that could possibly be for spring trap like i said i mean you you never know 
Now this next thing I noticed, I got the info from Leaks by Daylight and also just from me exploring the archives. Now when I looked on Leaks by Daylight, right, and I looked up the info for the anniversary and what's like to come before that, I noticed that in one of the tomes on level 4, you get this charm, right? And this charm is obviously a spider. When I was exploring the archives, I was like, hang on a second. Because I noticed that in the archives, right, when you go to the rewards you get for completing the first the first level in the archives, you will see this this egg, right? And doesn't it look like like doesn't it look like like a spider web almost? It looks like a web just like webbed up, right? It's almost like it was like Spider-Man webbed up somebody or something like that and just like stuck them there. That's what it looks like. And then the description for it says, here begins the infestation. The infestation of spiders, question mark. Now, like I said, this is all theory. I'm not too sure what this could possibly entail, but it's like, we just getting these spider charms out of nowhere. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, is this literally coming out of nowhere? Like, are the devs trying to hint at something maybe? Are we possibly getting a spider chapter coming soon? Or maybe even for the anniversary if it's that special? Even though I think nine times out of 10 is gonna be licensed. But who knows, maybe after the anniversary we might be getting the spider chapter, we don't know. I just found it weird that we getting like these spider cut on um, these spider charms all of a sudden. This literally came out of nowhere. I think this was like a, um, it's like this is not even in the recent tone. We, the, in the recent observer tone, we got these random creatures. So for us to now be getting the spider charms out of nowhere, but now it's from the tone before is kind of weird. I find that kind of suspicious, but that could literally be anything. Like, you know, like this is just all theory, but I just still wanted to point that out because I find that kind of suspicious. So in my opinion, I think y'all should pay attention to these tomes and these charms because I think they're trying to point out something here. I don't know. Maybe these devs are up to something, maybe. Now finally, the ring chapter news. Now, the we getting the ring chapter PTB this month. According to DVD news, it will be the 15th of February. So I can't wait for that. That's like that's like a week and a half from now. So I definitely can't wait to see that. And we finally gonna see how she actually plays like. So I'm pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. I really wonder what like I really wonder how her power is gonna work. I'm I'm my final guess on this is that it's gonna really be something dealing with some sort of betrayal dealing with survivors somehow because i already know she's gonna have the ability to curse survivors but i just don't know how exactly it will work you know what i'm trying to say if that makes sense because i know she's gonna be able to curse them like they literally throw hints out there in um in the article dealing with their little announcement towards ringle very skeptical to see what how she's gonna play like how is she even gonna what's gonna be her basic attack because she never really attacked nobody in the movies you just they just end up dead you know what i'm trying to say so how is everything gonna be like with her like i'm i'm really confused about that honestly very curious on how she's gonna work in this game i can't wait because she's coming really soon it's literally a week and a half for now so in the blink of an eye we're gonna get that ptb and we're gonna see what this chapter is all about but that's gonna do it let me hear your thoughts on everything i said in this video let's have a discussion always in the comment section because i love having discussions i read every single comment and i comment every single comment so let's have a discussion let me hear what you think if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe if you're new love y'all take care and i'll see y'all in the next one peace Come on, come on, come on. One, two, one, two, y'all. What you gonna